Hi everyone, welcome to the RPB Resonance Chemistry. Now I will continue my lectures on uh, like uh, biomolecules, in particular that uh, amino acids. So now this is the third lecture regarding to the amino acid. In this lecture we will discuss the, some of the synthesis, synthesis, synthetic, synthesis of uh, amino acids. Okay, now in this session particularly I will discuss uh, like a Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Gabriel thalamide synthesis. With the help of uh, like a thalamide we will prepare the amino acids. Uh, we will prepare the amino acids. So then now let us discuss the, how it is prepared by using the thalamide. By using the thalamide. So which is nothing but Gabriel thalamide synthesis. Now before going to that. Uh, so what is the thalamide? How it is prepared? How it is prepared? So generally the term thalamide which came which came from the like a thalic acid now here we know that this is benzene so benzene having the carboxylic acid group then it is called benzoic acid okay now here benzoic acid again having the ortho position carboxylic acid then it is called thalic acid thalic acid okay now again thalic acid undergoing the ammonolysis reaction ammonolysis reaction now it, it gives the like these type of compounds COnH2 COnH2 okay this is called thalic acid will gives the like a amine so generally so any acid will gives the uh, will undergo the like ammonolysis reaction now it gives the corresponding amide so if R is equal to CH3 then it is called acetic acid acetic acid uh, treated with ammonia will give the like a corresponding amide that is called acetamide okay benzoic acid benzamide thalic acid thalamide that is the simplest reaction simplest representation now we will get the thalamide so here it is the A thalamide okay now after certain uh, after heating at a uh, like a uh, higher temperature now here one of the NH2 group and one hydrogen from the another NH2 group it is eliminated as ammonia it is eliminated as ammonia now we will get the this type of compound CO NH CO okay now here thalamide will becomes a thalamide thalamide okay so this is the thalamide so gabriel can gabriel he is synthesized like a amines as well as amino acids with the help of thalamide with the help of thalamide this is the simplest preparation method to like prepare the thalamide to prepare the thalamide okay now with the help of these thalamides now we will we can synthesize the many of the like amino acids now let us discuss the simple synthesis of amino acids Okay, now the general representation of Gabriel thalamide synthesis like this. Okay, we know that this is our thalamide. This is our thalamide. Here E. I, I indicate say here it is the Mi. Okay, now the COnH2, COnH2. Okay, so in generally here it is the NH that is acidic proton. So the presence of acidic proton it readily lose their protons. Now thalamide here it readily lose their proton due to the losing of proton. Now we use the some of the bases to abstract that proton. So if we will abstract the proton then it becomes N minus. It is a, it is more useful for our like a electrophilic substitution reactions or nucleophilic substitution reaction. So generally it creates the nucleophile that's why it is a, it undergoes the nucleophilic substitution reaction. So first of all we use the like NaOH or KOH bases. NaOH or KOH bases. In second in second step we used the like alpha haloester. Alpha Halo ester. Okay, so that is a simplest representation of alpha halo ester is equal to like this. Okay, alpha chloro ethyl alpha chloro acetate with ethyl alpha chloro acetate. Okay, so after the after reaction of alpha halo ester, now here these negative charge will attack over there, then it creates the like NC that is new carbon nitrogen bond. So after that uh, finally it undergoes the like basic hydrolysis, like basic hydrolysis in the presence of OH minus. Now it will gives the like our corresponding amino acid, our corresponding amino acid that is a CH2 COO ethyl. Now here it is the NH2. With that, uh, we will get the COO 
like minus C O O minus with the help of uh, like uh, corresponding cations with the help of uh, corresponding cations. So now here we will get the salt of phthalic acid as well as uh, like, like uh, amino acid as well as amino acid. So now here instead of CH2 we used the like R group. If R is equal to H this is nothing but uh, like a glycine. If R is equal to methyl we will get the alanine. R is equal to benzoyl we will get the like a uh, phenyl alanine. So by, with the change of R group now we can and synthesized many of the like amino acids okay so this is the very simple uh, representation of uh, gabriel thalamide synthesis gabriel thalamide synthesis now let us go through the like a mechanism of this gabriel thalamide synthesis Okay, now let us discuss the mechanism of gabriel thalamide amino acid synthesis okay now here NH, NH, CO, NH, okay. So, in, with the help of base, that is KOH or NaOH, whatever the base, like a hydroxide base, okay. Now, here, this base will abstract the proton from the thalamide, from the thalamide, then bonded to electrons will shift it towards the nitrogen atom. Then it becomes N minus, then it becomes N minus, N minus, now here, CO. Okay, so this negative charge will surrounded by the our uh, corresponding cation. Now here OH minus and H plus both are eliminated as water molecule. Both are eliminated as water molecule. Now here it creates the negative charge on nitrogen atom. So generally nitrogen uh, it uh, nitrogen having the unshared pair of electrons so that uh, that's why it acts as a nucleophile. Okay, so in the presence of negative charge it is more nucleophilic in nature. More nucleophilic in nature. Now we will add the like alpha halo ester alpha halo ester this is the cl coo ethyl so simply it is a like a r ch cl r ch cl not the uh, not only chlorine uh, we use the like a bromine also but uh, the, the the better method to synthesize the alpha halo acids are uh, are esters that is a hvz hal hollard jelensky reaction okay now here these nucleophile will attack over the electrophilic center of uh, like a ch group that is a chcl now whenever nucleophile will attack over there then here it becomes a cl it is it is eliminated as a cl minus bonded to electron will shift it towards the cl then it becomes a cl minus cl minus and na plus both are eliminated as nacl both are eliminated as nacl now we will get the this type of compound Okay, nitrogen. Now here new bond CH or COO ethyl. New bond CH or COO ethyl. Okay, then after we will add the like a base as usually Na plus as well as OH minus. Na plus as well as like OH minus. So here OH minus will attack over the like a new electrophilic center of carbonyl compound. Electrophilic center of carbonyl compound. Okay. So now here, whenever the OH minus will attack over the electrophilic center, already carbon having the tetravalency, whenever the OH minus will approach us to the same carbon atom, then it becomes pentavalency. Then it becomes a valency number 5. So due to the more valency, the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the higher electronegativity atom. So, okay. Then here, oxygen is more electronegativity atom. Undoubtedly, it is more electronegative than carbon as well as nitrogen. Okay. Now here, due to the more electronegativity nature of oxygen, so uh, they cannot lose their electrons. That's why the bonded two electron again will shift it towards the like a same carbon atom. Again, it shifted towards the same carbon atom. Simply here, it creates the negative charge like this. O minus, okay, young something. Whenever OH minus will attack over there, then it creates the O minus. That O minus again will uh, return back to the same carbon atom. Then here, the bonded two electrons will shift it towards the nitrogen atom. Will shift it towards the nitrogen atom. Then it becomes N minus. Then it becomes N minus. Now here, CO. N minus CH COO ethyl here or like a CO OH CO OH now here however CO OH is a like a less stable less stable stabilized group when compared to the corresponding 
carboxylate anion okay so we know that in resonating structure coo minus is more stable than that of the carboxylic acid due to the two oxygens are participated in the resonating resonance stabilization that's why coo minus is more stable due to that here the proton will transferred now here it is the cation so minus will abstract the proton then it becomes the o minus that o minus will surrounded by the cation now here which is simply it is a proton transfer reaction proton transfer reaction now we will get the this type of a product like co nh ch or here co o ethyl here co o minus that is na plus that is na plus in similar way we will add the like oh minus at this uh, top of the carbon atom top of the carbon atom in previous cases like a similar case whenever oh minus will approach us to the carbon atom then it becomes o minus due to the more electron activity again it sent back there two electrons then bonded to two electrons will shift towards the nitrogen atom simply here it undergoes the hydrolysis simply it is undergoes the like hydrolysis okay so now we will get the same the same product now here it is the like a uh, benzene COOH now here COO minus Na plus now we will get the like a uh, NH minus okay NH minus CH or COO ethyl COO ethyl whenever in the presence of a hydrolysis reaction here only here it undergoes the like hydrolysis will gives the corresponding acid will gives the corresponding acid okay here NH minus so these NH minus will abstract the proton from like a thalic acid uh, thalic acid one of the carboxylic acid group from the thalic acid now again it becomes O minus which is surrounded by the cation okay now here it is the like a COO NA now here it is the COO NA plus NH2 CH COOH R group so this is our required amino acid this is our required amino acid simply if R group is replaced by the hydrogen atom then it is called glycine okay if R group is replaced by the methyl then it is called alanine if R group is replaced by the isopropyl then it is called like a valine so such type of amino acids we will synthesize with the help of thalamine okay this is the simplest mechanism regarding to the our th gabriel thalamide synthesis okay now let us examine ourselves so here it is a very simple mechanism uh, like uh, let us discuss the let us examine our knowledge on a thalamide reaction okay i will give the uh, some of the examples regarding to our gabriel thalamide synthesis now which is major product okay now here thalic acid thalic acid so treated with the ammonia will forms the a under heating condition will gives the b under heating condition will gives the b okay then after we add the like a naoh or koh then it will give the c okay so then finally we will add the like a ch3 chcl coo ethyl okay ch3 coo cl like a coo ethyl now in the presence of like base either naoh or koh we will get the d okay now finally find the overall product d so which is the main major product which is the major product now again it gives the e that is e is nothing but a, like a salt of thalic acid salt of thalic acid then find the d okay now let us go through the like thalic acid so now here they are given in the like a preparation method as well as a, like a synthesis of our amino acid now first of all whenever it treated with ammonia we will get the this type of compound COnH2 COnH2 okay under the heating pressure now we will get the like a thalamide okay we will get the thalamide in the presence of base now here like in presence of base followed by the like a, uh, like a corresponding alpha halo ester in the presence of a basic uh, hydrolysis finally we will get the ch3 ch nh2 coh like our salt of thalic acid salt of thalic acid so these are the simplest method to prepare the like amino acids okay now here instead of ch3 now i'll give the like a this type of uh, valine group this type of uh, sorry isopropyl group now we will get the valine so instead of uh, like a uh, 
butyl group we will get the leucine so now the secondary butyl group we will get the like a uh, uh, corresponding isolution product okay this is the method simple method to synthesize the gabriel uh, to synthesize the many of amino acid with the help of thalamide okay now here we cannot prepare the aromatic acids why because now we will discuss that the starting point so generally aromatic halides aromatic group is already it is a nucleophilic center that's why nucleophilic substitution reactions cannot uh, occur in in presence of like a uh, aromatic group generally alkyl halide here it creates the positive charge but aromatic compounds cannot create the positive charge over there that's why here it cannot undergoes the nucleophilic substitution reaction now here the presence of aliphatic halide we will we will synthesize with the corresponding amino acid with the help of thalamate okay that's all for this video this is the like a uh, best synthesis method uh, of uh, amino acid okay thank you for watching